Nashville. Well, there is a new fashion trend that is impacting the shoe world as we know it. That's right. People are wearing shoes where the big toe is separated from all the other two, all the other toes, and that kicks off today's buzz. Let's take a look. There is a split just for the big toe, so it is similar to a flip flop just encased. The trend got a slow start here in the US, but is already a huge hit in Japan. Actor Cody Fern wore a pair at last year's Golden Globes. Now, since then, more are popping up at shoe stores, and people who own the shoes swear by them, saying that they are more comfortable than cramming your toes into regular shoes. Hmm. Uh, well, I guess it's it a looks big toe. Funny, but. Yeah. I can see why that would be a little more comfortable, to be honest. Yeah, I, I guess it gives more space for you to yeah. move around or, or whatever. But I, I, I don't know. I guess maybe we're just, I guess, used to seeing just the peep toe in the middle and yeah. instead of just the big toe. But when you think about it, though, it's probably it's probably not the best. You know, people have foot problems or problems with toes and yeah. that kind of thing when they're all crammed, crammed. especially in, in women's shoes, yeah. when they're all, you know, crammed together because it's a pointed toe. Yeah. Or even if it's not pointed, just the way they're shaped. Because don't they say that the pointed toe actually creates like a bunion? I think yeah, podiatrists can. learn like, oh, So, hey, this, this maybe is better for you. But, you know, <laughs> the Japanese have been doing it, what, since the 15th century with their geta and their dabi. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I guess we're learning from other cultures. We'll see. There you well, go. Well, doctors in the UK say a teenager teenager's poor diet caused him to go blind. The 14-year-old boy, described as a fussy eater, went to the doctor complaining he was tired. Blood tests showed he was anemic and had low B12 levels. Within three years, he was deficient in many nutrients and had completely lost his sight. The boy admitted he had only eaten chips, french fries, white bread, sausage and processed ham since elementary school. The teen's mother says she doesn't know how to get him to eat different foods. Were you finicky? I was when I was wow. a kid. Not that picky. Yeah. I no. mean, I think every kid's picky, picky to some degree. Right. Um, and of course they want, you know, sweets yeah. or junk food more than they're going to want healthy food. And vegetables and stuff. Yeah, but I think, oh my gosh, you know, to go to that extreme. That's, I feel bad for him. It's sad. That's a sad situation if his oh, diet has caused that. But perhaps because the diet caused it, Maybe if he gets turn back. if he gets the right nutrients, perhaps it can be reversed. Who knows? I don't but know though. It seems like he's probably past that yeah. period of time and, and age to be able to that kid is back. why you eat your vegetables and, well, and, and take your vitamins. Everybody to, <laughs> right? to do that. I, I mean, that's, that's kind of scary yeah. when you think of because I mean those are serious conditions if you uh -huh. think about it. And here, police in Houston say that a group of people demanded their Popeyes chicken. Oh yes, they did, and they did it at gunpoint. It all started when a car filled with some folks were told at the drive-through window that the Popeyes sandwiches sold out and that's when they tried to storm the restaurant with at least one weapon an employee was able to lock the doors before the five could get inside and you know what <laughs> we I have had a few stories on the Popeye's chicken sandwiches that keeps, keeps coming, coming back, back into the bus <laughs> I called the GM for the um, the location here on New Circle Road Yeah, do they have them this is what she said to me she said that it's actually it's all about a glitch it's about the buns and so okay. they have the meat a lot of stores have the meat, but the the company is saying that they all have to use so the same brioche roll. So it was an issue with getting enough of the buns. Uh, the, yeah, so they don't want them to just use, you know, just you know, Walmart buns right. or whatever. Well, and so she said, that if you are looking for the the sandwiches until uh, while supplies last, 10:30 to 2 p.m. the lunch period, Monday through Sunday, they're going to be still selling here on the north side those sandwiches while supplies last. And Shelly Cook. Thank you so very much for all that information. Interesting. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, they they kind of they had an issue. It was just too popular, and they couldn't keep up with demand, and and they ran out of buns. We'll see what Don't Popeye story we have tomorrow. I uh, know, and, and they won't let them use it for the buzz today. Yes. We'll be right back.